So this topic is about the geometry of deformations for typical statically indeterminate SO structures. For the first case, we have the coaxial or parallel axial members. The problems in this category include side-by-side -side plate like this, uh, or a tube with a field core, um, like a concrete column with embedded reinforcing steel, or the three parallel rods symmetrically connected to a rigid bar. So, with this kind of problem, we have the deformation of each axial member must be the same unless there is a gap or clearance in the connection. So, we have delta 1 equal to delta 2. And if there is a gap, then the deformation of one member equals the deformation of the other member plus the length of the gap. So we will have delta 1 equal to delta 2 plus the gap. So the second problem is about the axial members connected end to end in series. Problems in this category include two or more members connected end to end. If there's no gaps or clearance um, like this one and this one, then the member deformation must sum to zero. So we have delta one plus delta two equal to zero. In other words, an elongation in member one is accompanied by an equal contraction in member two. But if we have a gap or clearance between the two members like this or this, so the support move as the lot is applied, then when we apply the lot in here, one will move to the right and two will move to the left. Then we have the elongation of one plus elongation of two will equal to the gap. So in this case, we have ASO members connected to a rotating rigid element. Problem in this category feature a rigid bar or a rigid plate to which the ASO members are attached. The rigid element is pinned so that it rotates about the, a fixed point. Since the axle members are attached to the rotating element, their deformation are constrained by the position of the deflected rigid bar. If, the, if both members elongate or both members contract as the rigid bar rotates, then we will use the, the equation like delta 1 divided by A equal to delta 2 divided by B. But if one member elongates while the other member contracts as the rigid bar rotate, then we have delta 1 divided by A equal to negative delta 2 divided by B. And when we have a gap or a clearance in a chain, then the geometry of deformation equation will be delta 1 plus the gap divided by A equal to delta 2 divided by B. Just like in this case, when we apply a lot P here, so C will be elongated down here and B also down here. So when we got the deformation of 2 divided by AC equals to the elongation of rod 1 divided by AB. But in this problem, when we apply a lot here, so C will go down 
and then A will go to the left. So we have one triangle here and one triangle here. Then we got, this is the elongation and this rod is shortened. So when we get the elongation up to divided by BC, that will equal to negative the elongation of 1 divided by AB.